What's going on guys? Triple G here with Super Scorch 300. Sorry, That's I cut you exactly off there. I was about to say that, yeah. <laughs> Great minds think alike, I guess. But we're going to be doing this update video and I'll explain why he's here with me. And we have quite a bit of stuff to talk about, so let's just jump right into it. First, I want to go ahead and mention that I am going to be going to Europe for a couple weeks. I'm actually meeting Colin for the first time. We're going to be going to London, Paris, Venice, a whole bunch of places in Europe. We'll be doing a lot of vlogs as well, so keep an eye on my second channel. Link below will be in the description for that. We're going to be putting out a ton of vlogs of just us being random and showing you, you know, our trip basically. And I'll be uploading a ton of videos on that, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be a pretty fun trip, but I did want to go ahead and let you guys know that because we are going to be gone for quite a while. But Keep on on that second channel. We may or may not be uploading some of those vlogs while I'm there. There may be some delay in that, but definitely keep an eye out for that. It'll I think in stuff. the long run we will be. I'll be bringing my laptop and I plan to upload videos that I need to put on my channel while I'm away anyway. Yeah, me and him will both be uh, uploading stuff, I guess, or do you just want me to? Or how does that work? I don't know. Either I'll put some on my channel and you can put some on yours as well, or just you or yeah. well I mean the videos I have to upload are related to my channel they're my Scourge Play series and stuff yeah so I guess we'll both record like vlogs and stuff and whatever so but keeping on my second channel I'll probably try to put most of them on there but yeah I just want to give you guys a heads up I'm gonna be going for a couple weeks and I'm actually not gonna be back till the end of July so that's what this is gonna be kind of a long delay and not any videos being uploaded so I want to let you guys know that second thing is I know a lot of people basically you're asking me about updates about zombie attack revelations so a quick heads up this is going to attain some spoilers from zombie attack legacies so if you haven't seen this yet i'll put a title somewhere in the video of a certain time in the video just to skip ahead to skip all the spoilers but basically at the end of zombie attack legacies there were a lot of questions left unanswered like who is that guy with the mask on at the end uh, how was carter back etc we are not releasing any details exactly on that, of course, because that would be huge spoilers, but we are in the work of making a new series called Zombie Tag Revelations or ZAR. Not a whole lot of info I can tell you guys about this because it really is just right now a work in progress. Uh, basically, all I can really say is it is going to be the final chapter in the Zombie Tag saga. Yes, the final series me and Colin are ever going to create for Zombie Attack, GTA Zombie Attack related. This is going to be the last chapter, basically where all shit hits the fan, and we're definitely going to try to emphasize that. Because of the large scale and scope that it is, it probably won't be coming out for a while because we have to work really hard on it. It's going to be so much content, so much crazy shit happens, we have to make sure it's going to be as good as possible. So because of that, it won't be coming out for a while, but definitely keep an eye on my channel because I'll be uploading teaser trailers and official trailers. And keep, definitely follow it on Facebook because I gave you guys quick little updates on there. Also follow me on Twitter where we, me and Colin actually give you uh, some updates on the new series as well. So that's CAR. Not a whole lot of info I can give you guys, but it is in the works. Just wanted to let you know that. Uh, the second thing, is or actually the second third whatever i can't count today but moving on um definitely follow me on twitch because i've been doing a lot more of my let's plays on there i don't know if you guys noticed or not but i haven't been doing as many walkthroughs just because they take a while and there's not a whole lot of demand for them on my channel i suppose so i'm mostly doing let's plays on there check it out now because i have some batman arkham knight videos on there i may or may not do a review of that game but Follow me on Twitch, that's where I do a lot of my Let's Plays now, especially for those extended periods of time. So definitely follow me on that. And uh, a lot of people like my reaction videos, which uh, is surprising because I didn't know they were going to be as big as they were. But a lot of people like seeing me really excited for games. And all those reaction videos are 100% genuine, absolutely. I don't like people to do fake reactions, so all these reaction videos I do, the first time I'm seeing any of these videos, are 100% genuine, I promise and I'll do some more reaction videos for those. Not sure which games or movies I'll be doing reaction videos on, but I guess just stay tuned. Follow me on Twitter, I'll let you guys know that. And that's all I have to say for upcoming videos on my channel. I'll be, of course, you know, GTA 5 funny moments are gonna be sticking around for a while. 
uh, Minecraft. I still need to get around to making more of those. We're getting towards the end of the Lost Island series. Stay tuned for that because it's going to be a really crazy epic finale. And yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I'll let you guys know if things changes. But that's not the only thing. While you guys are waiting ZAR and because you guys have been so patient with us and so supporting of this series, Colin actually came up with a idea to, to kind of to kind of help you guys with the wait for ZAR. Do you want to explain what that's about? Yeah, I'll go through it bit by bit. There's a couple things I need to cover regarding this. Basically, I'm developing a spin-off series that's going to be five episodes in length, uh, roughly the same length of each episode of like a Zombie Attack series episode where it's roughly 30 to 40 minutes in length. It is being titled GTA 5 The Zombie Attack Legacy's Alpha Protocol. Basically, I'm directing this series, which is the first time since I've directed a series since the Zombie Attack Origins back in like 2011 and 2012, and the first time I'm ever recording the series in full from my perspective, considering I just got a capture card of my own that can record in 1080 60 FPS. So I just figured it'd be a good chance to test it out and also help people, you know, tide people over until the wait for ZAR. Now, there's a couple things to discuss on this series, one being the plot. Uh, basically, it's going to be set three months before the beginning of the zombie attack legacies. Uh, it covers a character, I'm actually looking at uh, notes I have on my screen right now. It covers a character called Alex. Uh, no second name right now, that's kind of part of the plot. Basically, he doesn't know who he is, where he was born, he knows nothing about himself. Yes, I'm pulling the amnesia card. Uh, he meets a woman by the name of Catherine Faraday, who is a investigative journalist, and together, him and her go on this sort of journey to discover who he is and his actual, uh, where he comes from, why he has... Yeah, yeah, another interesting thing about Alex's character, which you'll see in the trailer, in fact, the trailer should probably already be out by the time of this video, but uh, he has some sort of superhuman strength that is very similar to the likes of someone who uses Procassium. So part of the story is discovering why that is. Why has someone experimented on him? Maybe it was something to do with his family? Does he have any relation to gold tech? These are all things that will be discovered in the show. Like I said, it's only five episodes in length, which so it's a lot to cram into five episodes. But I did it the same with Origins, and it fit in just fine. So I think it'll be... It doesn't have to be over the top. It doesn't have to be ten episodes. I'm only aiming for this to be a, a short side thing to go alongside with the wait for Revelations. Um, yeah. Exactly, yeah. So, oh yeah, another character who's actually very important. A couple people have been saying I should have turned him into a villain, but for reasons that you will see, I didn't. A character by the name of Marcus Arkwright. He is a uh, financial investor. He does a lot of uh, backroom deals with companies to get them going, but he also does a lot of illegal work, and he knows the Alex character. He's known him from a long time. Alex went missing several years ago, and it's been the first time they've seen each other for years, Alex basically comes to Marcus for help on finding out more about his past because of Marcus's connections. He can help him out. Alex is being chased by a variety of people. There is actually going to be three separate villains in this series. Uh, so I'm taking I'm taking a line out of like Marvel movies where there's always like multiple villains. There are a group of bikers who are after Alex because he's pissed them off. You'll see why. Uh, <laughs> Nepo come into it towards the end. And of course, there is Zeke and his army before they were revealed, trying to quietly capture Alex so they can experiment on him. So that's mm. going to be interesting that there are three separate villain groups. Uh, there will be cameos in the series. Uh, in the trailer, you will see Zeke, you will see Cypher. Uh, this, like I said, this is three months before Legacies, so yes, they are around, they are in the city limits, they should be there. I'm not quite sure if we'll be seeing the likes of characters such as James or Eli, but who knows, things might change in the writing later. We might have them in, we might not, we'll just see how it goes. Mm. Uh, how it aims to be different is in the fact, well, what makes this series stick out a little bit is because in previous series as we've done, we've always had character progression where the characters steadily get become stronger. I mean, you know this, Josh, we talked about it when we did series three, we wanted to have all of the characters best themselves, didn't we? Exactly. Mm -hmm. The difference with this series is, and this is a little bit kind of breaking the mold, but the point of this series is that this Alex character, there is no progression because he's already superhuman. He can already, he's already impervious to bullets, knives, pretty much everything. And it's basically about his, 
slow bond that he gains with this Catherine woman and how they help each other. She helps him become stop you know stop being such a dark individual. Stop like she doesn't want to hurt people. She's not kind of a gunfighter like like we would know from characters such as Maya. She's completely different. When she gets into a battle, Alex has to protect her. Alex openly has to stand in front of her and protect her from bullets. That's Turn what's different about this. <clears throat> exactly. So, like, it's about their relationship more, this series. It's about them becoming friends and gaining a bond. It sounds kind of stupid, but that you'll see how I'm working it out. It sounds um, like a chick flick, but me and Colin are not a fan of those, so don't worry. <laughs> exactly. It is not that, trust me. Yeah. Um, I actually did a, um audition page for this uh, under the radar. I don't think I mentioned this to you either, Josh, but it had over 18... No, 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 no. 118 different viewers, and many of those viewers ended up auditioning. It's closed now, but a lot of... Th I'm just yeah. going to go through the names of people who've got certain characters in case they didn't know, because this video will probably be linked on that page for the people who are wondering who got certain roles. Um, the voice of Alex, the main character, is going to be voiced by a guy called Ray Sosa, also known as Zymanth on YouTube, I believe. I'm not quite sure. I haven't checked out his channel as of now. But he's a great voice actor. He has a lot of... Uh, raspiness and growl in his voice uh, really portrays the character Alex well, so he was a perfect choice. Catherine Faraday is voiced by a girl called Hallow Gallo. Uh, she's links to her channel are on mine. She's actually the one that donated this wonderful $200 capture card that you're seeing right here. I'm showing it on camera right now. In fact, she's the one that donated this green screen and this camera that you're viewing on as well. She's donated so much to me and just made all mm. of this possible. Um, Where's my free stuff? Yeah. <laughs> the uh I'm just kidding, Catherine, you can keep donating. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hate the me. the character Marcus Arkwright is going to be voiced by a guy called Soliloquy Man, a YouTube channel again. We can throw the link in the description. I might talk to you about it afterwards, Josh. He is a uh, narrator, he does short stories and creepypastas on YouTube, so he's perfect voice for someone like Marcus Arkwright, a businessman, very suave. And uh, lastly, there'll be a, a variety of additional voices from such people as Daniel Dawson, Stephen McClintock, and Dementi Batusov. Very, very good voice actors. And I just want to do a, a few shout outs to one to Daniel Dawson, because he really helped me out with biker voices that were shown in the trailer. I was actually stressing out trying to figure out like where I'm going to get all these various biker voices, but he ended up doing at least three but he changed his voice for each one and it sounded great. So I'm really, really help, love the help from that guy. Um, mm -hmm. Secondly, to Nicholas Quiles and Morgan Stern Productions, I just wanted to apologize for screwing them around with so many emails, uh, trying to find the perfect Alex <laughs> voice. They were some of the people I was thinking of choosing for Alex and I really appreciate their time and effort they put in, but I found a voice actor now, guys. Thank you so much, but you know, I'm sorry to bother you. So yeah. And thirdly, of course, lastly, to Hallow Gallo, like I said, the girl who made all of this possible through the capture card. This wouldn't even be, this wouldn't have been a possibility at all if I hadn't have got this capture card. So thank you so much for that. And you already know, she already knows. I say it a million times. <laughs> and um, yeah. the last thing I want to say, I guess, is that episode one script for Alpha Protocol is nearly complete. Uh, episode one will focus a lot on Catherine uh, and her journey leading up to meeting Alex. Um, I'm aiming to have it recorded in like the next two weeks, uh, edited somewhere around July 17th, perhaps. Um, of course, your our trip, you know, me and Josh may cross over with that, so times may be delayed. We'll just see how it goes. Um, and just to absolutely clarify, because I'm sure Josh will agree with me on this, this can get annoying. This series has nothing to do with Origins, and it is not the follow-up to Legacies. It is not the sequel to Legacies. It is a spin-off. It is set three months before Legacies. Yeah. It's basically a prequel, and it's not going it's not going to interfere with Zeke, the protagonist, or anything. If literally like I'm showing my hand gesture right now, Colin, so hang on. Literally like this is ZEL, okay, going down this path. This right here, this is Alpha Protocol. ZEL Alpha Protocol doing this. They never intertwine, they never do this this way. So they each have their own little, I guess you could say, timeline in a way. But they're in the same universe, but they're really completely different parts of the world from different perspectives. That's it. It doesn't intertwine like Origins does, 
That's what a lot of people are going to be confused about is that this is intertwined with it. Not at all. This is before ZAL. It's basically a ZAL prequel in a way, but it doesn't have, it doesn't really showcase any of the original protagonists. It's, you know, a whole different perspective. I only know so much about it because Colin's been working on it, but because he's saying this really isn't going to mess with the ZL or ZR story at all, it's basically going to be its own kind of thing, then yeah, I'm all for it, so awesome. Um, dare I say that, you know, perhaps if all goes well, perhaps some of the story elements that are introduced in Alpha Protocol could potentially carry on into ZAR, if they're popular enough. There will be hints of stuff in it, like little, I guess you could say, like, I don't know, little teasers or easter eggs you can put in with ZR, but it's really not going to affect its story at all. And also, depending on how these people perform in uh, your series con, we may use them for some voice acting in ZR. So for those of you that didn't land any voice acting for his series, don't give up because we're going to be posting up sometime in the near future for some voice auditioning for ZR. And I'll let you guys know on my channel as well, so you can, all of you guys can audition for it. And I'll give you guys a link where you can do that and all that good stuff. So, we're not, it's not going on right now, so don't worry about it. But just stay tuned, is all I have to say. Well, I just hope I got the information about Alpha Protocol across correctly, and uh, I hope people enjoy this little spin-off series. Yeah, it's basically there to help you guys with the wait for ZR. Hope you guys enjoy it. Colin's been working really hard on it. And we're really excited to film the ZR too because not only will I be able to film it, but he has his own capture card now so that we can film it from multiple perspectives, make it feel even more like a series or a movie oh, yeah. if you will, Hell get yeah. more better shots in there. Uh, all I can, all, the only other thing I can really say about ZR is we're going to try, no promises, but we're going to try to film it on next gen. No promises though, but we're certainly going to try. With that being said, we may either film it during or shortly after this holiday. That's my guess. Don't quote me on that, but that's basically an estimate of what I think we'll get it done. I think around this holiday, a lot of our friends are probably have Xbox Ones and you might as well. So we're going to try to film that on there instead of uh, the 360 because we want to make sure we really have the best quality we can possibly have and all the available features that we can use at our disposal to fill it. But that's pretty much it guys. I just wanted to let you guys know because there's a lot of upcoming stuff and there's going to be a delay in videos because of our Europe trip. Stay tuned on my second channel. I'll be posting vlogs on there. Follow me on Twitch. That's where I do a lot of Let's Plays now. And I'm always... Follow me on Twitter and Facebook. That's where we do a lot of updates for this stuff. And that's all I had to say from my end. Any last statements, Colin? Just thank you very much for watching, and hail to the king, baby. Be sure to subscribe to the Triple G. That's my new line. That's a good one. I like that. Yeah. Peace, guys. See ya.